Hello YouTubers and coin collectors out there. Welcome to the Big D Coins channel. So this video we have here is the classic tale of young versus old. On the left, on the left we have the 2005 Buffalo Nickel. And then on the right we have the 1930 Buffalo Nickel. So this video will talk about what they have in common, how many million of them were produced, and why the U.S. kind of got back to this commemorative coin. So on the right is the iconic buffalo nickel. So I found this one while coin roll hunting, uh, which you guys are probably very familiar with. So on the reverse right here, it features the American buffalo or bison. I'm not really sure the difference between the two, but that animal is on the reverse. So the value of this coin, according to coin tractors, uh, starts at $1.95 and can go up to $200. Now, that's not the official uh, value of it. There obviously can be lots of different values out there, but that's what coin trackers says. So on the front right here, we have the date, which you can see on the bottom left. So often those that date will get kind of erased because um, it's raised above the rest of the coin so that can wear and tear pretty easily but as far as the mintages goes for the old buffalo nickel in 1930 there were uh, 200 uh, 22.8 million produced at the philadelphia mint as well as 5 million produced at the san francisco mint so kind of sliding this out of frame and into here so this one right here is the modern day Buffalo nickel. Now this one is part of the Westward Journey uh, series or collection. So this collection features the 2004 uh, Louisiana Purchase slash Peace Metal nickel, the 2004 Keelboat nickel, the American Bison in 2005 nickel, which is what you're looking at right here, as well as the 2005 Ocean View nickel, in the 2006 return to Monticello nickel. So these were part of uh, what the Mint called the Westward Journey series to commemorate uh, Lewis and Clark's uh, adventure west in discovering all the states out west. So as far as the mintages go for this coin, now this coin was just made in 2005. So that's why you might be seeing it for the very first time. Uh, if you haven't looked at a lot of nickels uh, you might have just found this in your spare change so this video will be very helpful for you so there were 487 million of these produced at the denver mint there were 448 million produced at the philadelphia mint and there were 3.3 million proof coins produced at the san francisco mint so if you flip it over you can see the mint mark right there Obviously, if yours has a S mint mark, that indicates it's from the San Francisco mint and is a proof coin and is going to be worth more than face value. If yours says D or P on it, unfortunately, probably not worth more than for face value. So that's a little information for you. Um, also, some other uh, cool facts about this coin. It is a commemorative coin. Um, which in my experience, whenever the mint kind of produces something that they intend on people collecting, it's never really worth that much value because everyone hoards it from the first day. The real valuable coins in my experience are the ones that people don't realize are collectible until many, many years later. Uh, and then you start looking for them because the, the mintages were such so high in this particular series, there were uh, 400, as I said, 487 million produced at the Denver Mint and 448 million produced at the Philadelphia Mint. This coin right here is not going to be worth uh, more than face value unless it is uh, the proof coin that's made at the San Francisco Mint. But it's cool to have as part of a collection or part of a series, which is why I always kind of pick one out um, and then hold on to it. So I'll bring the old uh, buffalo nickel. Uh, this is also referred to as the Indian head, as uh, a Native American or Indian, as they were known back then, is featured on the front. So there it is, uh, Thomas and Jefferson, Native American. 
Hopefully you enjoyed. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you're a returning subscriber, uh, please leave a comment and let me know what I should make for a video next. All right, people, enjoy. <laughs>